What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so in this video, we are still on the families topic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to control family geometry visibility and control the family geometry graphic display. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to show you or I'm going to zoom into this part of our model. So here you can see that my pipes here are showing a single line and as you can see my family here my ball valve and also the damper shows like this just a line okay right so you can control this by modifying the detail level okay so you can adjust the detail level and see how it affects the elements in the view okay specifically our duct and uh, pipes so the detail level is here this one this icon here so if I change that to fine, you will notice my uh, pipes here will become a normal view, right? And same with my duct here and same with my families. Okay, so if I change this, let's say, for example, to consistent color. So this is how it looks like. All right, so let me change this to medium. So that's where the changes now comes in. So you will notice my pipe here becomes single line and my family here as well my ball valve and also the damper so if i change this totally to course so what will happen is this one so totally all the uh, docks and pipes will become a single line okay so you can control it here so that's why if you ever wonder why is it my model it shows my uh, dock or my pipe as a single line okay so it's because of the detail level here okay so let us modify our family so i'm gonna show you how the detail level or how are you going to control the detail level of your family not the pipe or the duct so i have no idea how to control that when it comes to the detail level so if there's a way to control the pipes and ducts when I change that to, let's say, to medium, it's still double line. So you can tell me because I don't have any idea. Okay, because that's a system family. So, but the component family or loadable family, you can control the detail level of, of that family. So let's say this ball valve here. So if I select this one, I select here, edit family. Let me click that one. Okay, so here's the family editor. So if I'm going to select the 3D model, so let's say this one, so you can see you have a mode here, okay? And then you have there the visibility settings, okay? So you can click that one, and here you can find the family element visibility settings wherein you can modify the view-specific display. So obviously, this 3D model, I want that to be shown on my 3D views, so you can control that one. You can't turn off your 3D from showing, okay? So it's always displayed in the 3D model, but you can control the plan, reflected ceiling plan view, your elevation here. So you can cr uh, control the visibility by checking or unchecking these boxes here. So if you don't want to see that 3D model on your elevation for some reason or on your plan view for some reason, so you can just do it from here. And you can also control the detail level. So as you can see, the detail level of my 3D model here is set to fine. So you can control it here. So this is how you control the element visibility of your component family and uh, component family or loadable family. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is the graphic display can also be controlled with subcategories. Okay, so what do I mean? So let's say I'll just cancel this one. So I'm going to close my ball valve. So let's go back to my project here. Okay. So let's say I'm going to modify this family here. So I have my uh, water source heat pump, WSHP mechanical equipment family. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select your edit family. So the graphic display can also be controlled with subcategories. Okay. So let's say... In this model here, I'm going to modify. I'm going to add a an extrusion. Okay, so I'm gonna add an extrusion to my model. So let's say this side here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select extrusion, or maybe I'll just do that on the floor plan view. So let me go to the reference level here. 
Okay, and then I'll create an extrusion. So select extrusion, rectangle. So let's say I want to create a clearance zone for this family. Let me click, and then I click another point here. There you go. So let's say I'll make it uh, 2 feet and 4 inches. Enter. Okay, and then I'll just select those lines. Move, move, down. And there you go. Okay, and then after that, I'll just go to the 3D view. So this is now how it looks like. So let me finish this one. So there you go. And then let me just align the extrusion at the top. So let's align it here to here. There you go. And then modify. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, modify this. Okay, so I'm going to modify by creating a subcategory. So to create a subcategory, so what you can do is you can open up your visibility graphic overrides. Okay, or you can go to the manage and then just select your object styles. So you click that one and here on the object style so you can create a subcategory. You can also type, let me cancel this one, VV to open up your visibility graphic overrides. VV as in Victor, Victor, VV, that's the shortcut. And then you can click object styles here. There you go. Okay, and then after that, let's select here, modify new subcategories or modify subcategories new. So we will be creating a new one. And then that is for the mechanical equipment. And let me put a name here, clearance zones or clearance zone. And then I'll select here, modify. So there you go. I just created a subcategory for my mechanical equipment. Now, the next thing is I'm going to change here the line color. So I'm change that gonna change that to red and then change the line pattern to dash there you go and then I'll select here okay and then I'll select here okay and there you have it now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the 3d model and then go to properties and then there's the subcategory here I click the drop down arrow and then I select the clearance zone just to let other people know that this shouldn't be included to the clash detection or it should be included to the clash detection because that's a clearance zone. Okay, so I don't want any 3D model passing through this area here. All right. Okay, and then another thing that you can do here is the visibility of geometry, this one, can also be controlled by associating the visible parameter to this one. So if I click this, you see there's a visible parameter here but right now so there is no parameter to control that it's none right so that's why we're going to create a uh, parameter for that so to go that to do that let's go to the family types and then here i'm going to create a visibility parameter uh -huh. so let me just new parameter select and then here, I'm just going to put the name clearance zone. So I want to add that to this uh, type here. So clearance zone, and maybe I'll just select here instance parameter. And then discipline common data type, I'll just make it yes, no. And then for the group parameter under, I'll put it under visibility. There you go, and then I'll select here, okay. And there is now my clearance zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here OK. And then I'll select this family here or this extrusion. And then associate the family parameter that I just created, which is the clearance zone. So I can control the visibility of this if I load this to the project. So let's load that into the project. Override. Okay, so there's my clearance zone. That one. So I can select this family and then I can look for the visibility and then I can check and I can also uh, uncheck and check. All right. So there you go. Okay. So basically, it's just a short video just to give you an idea how to control the element visibility of your uh, family. Okay. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.